The output file of ViewShed Analysis is a raster image where each pixel represents visibility. This is referred to as raster grid, where the image is used to represent data instead of ground terrain. Data can be collected and analyzed from a variety of sources and be used to represent elevation, temperature, rainfall, population, leaf type, soil conditions, and more. Raster grids are attached from the Attach Raster Grid option located in the File menu of Raster Manager and can be from a file or from an Oracle database. Raster grids are unique and it should be noted that they are 2D and attached in read-only mode and that they cannot be attached interactively. In this example, an Esri Arc Info grid file will be attached. This is a native file format that is composed of several files located in a named folder. When the file is attached, it displays similar to a grayscale raster image. This raster grid is a digital elevation model, which can be displayed in three display styles, elevation, slope, and aspect. Each display mode can be customized by choosing the thematic set option from the right-click menu. This action will open the thematic dialog, which provides controls to set the symbology parameters for each of the display styles. The Hill Shade option enhances the display by simulating shading effects caused by lighting. When Hill Shade is enabled, the Vertical Exaggeration option can be applied to increase the shadow effect. Slope describes the steepness at a particular location and is expressed in a percentage. Slope is a calculated value and is displayed by default from green to red, where green represents flat areas and red is the steep areas. Aspect is the horizontal direction a slope faces and is expressed in degrees clockwise from north. Aspect is a calculated value where the default color scheme is a multicolor ramp from 0 degrees to 360 degrees. Elevation mode displays the elevation range of the DEM in graduated colors. The default color ramp is from black to white where black is the minimum elevation and white is the maximum. Each display mode can be customized by choosing the thematic set option. This opens the thematic dialog which provides access to all the symbology parameters associated to the display styles. New classes can be generated via the class generator. In this example, the data in the raster grid will be distributed into 20 classes of equal range. The graduated colors used to display contiguous classes can be customized by choosing ramp colors from the right-click menu. In this example, the bottom eight classes are ramped from green to yellow. The colors of the middle classes are ramped from yellow to brown. and the last four classes are ramped from brown to white. Classes can be further customized by inserting classes above or below a selection, removing classes, or merging classes as shown here. Defining a custom style can be a time-consuming task. For this reason, the settings can be saved and reused.